So this is a study that um, looked at a combination of two medications, ribociclib, which is a CDK4-6 inhibitor, um, and everolimus, which is an mTOR inhibitor. Uh, there were two cohorts in the study, leiomyosarcoma, which were not presenting, um, and then liposarcoma, or specifically um, dedifferentiated liposarcoma. The rationale for thinking about this combination in, this, um, in these liposarcomas is that we know uh, Characteristically, these tumors have amplification of part of chromosome 12, where the MDM2 locus is, um, and very close to MDM2 is CDK4. Those genes are very close. And so these tumors are characterized by having amplification of CDK4. In addition, you know, there have been studies looking at CDK4-6 inhibitors like palbociclib and showing that you, know, you can see some disease stabilization with targeting that um, specific gene. There haven't been a lot of responses, and certainly there is data um, suggesting that resistance to CDK4-6 inhibitors may in part be because of mTOR activity. And so the hypothesis behind the study was if we combine these two targeted therapies to the CDK4-6 um, genes and to uh, mTOR that we might be able to improve the outcomes of these patients um, and look to see, um, can we see more patients whose disease are stabilized and can we actually see responses? We are almost completely accrued to um, the liposarcoma group, um, about three patients to go. But to date, um, the um, initial signs of activity that we were looking for, um, because it's a phase two study with a Simon two-stage design, we found that there was enough activity. Um, there were, have been eight patients so far whose had, disease has been stabilized for more than 16 weeks. Um, and we've also had two patients who've had responses or partial responses. Um, so the um, combination, it looks to be interesting. Side effect wise, the things that have been the greatest issue um, really have been actually um, problems with blood counts, um, particularly white blood cell counts um, and lymphocytopenia. Other types of side effects um, that uh, and, uh, we've seen some minor anemia, pneumonitis, which can be seen with everolimus, uh, but really otherwise uh, not significant side effects. I would say right now there is not a plan phase three. I think uh, working with the um, other co-leaders of the study, Dr. Mova and uh, Dr. George, uh, we need to think about from what we've seen and trying to look also at some of the correlative studies um, that we've been able to get. Um, is there something um, that we're seeing where we should be thinking about adding a third agent um, or is there a better uh, combination that we could do? Certainly um, the neutropenia and lymphocytopenia were significant issues in some patients where their ability to um, get um, doses in um, was limited. So we may need to be looking at a slightly different combination.